given f of x equals x cosine x sine x, we want to determine f prime of two and f prime of pi over two. And since function f is our product of functions, we'll have to apply the product rule of differentiation to find f prime of x. For review, if we want to find the derivative of function f times function g with respect to x, it's equal to f times g prime plus g times f prime. But notice our function is actually a product of three functions. We have x times cosine x times sine x. So we'll have to apply the product rule twice in order to find f prime of x. So let's go ahead and let the first function f be equal to x and the second function g be equal to cosine x times sine x. So applying the product rule, we would have f prime of x equals the first function, which is x, times the derivative of the second function, or the derivative of this product, cosine x times sine x. Notice to find this derivative, we'll have to apply the product rule again. And then we have plus the second function, which is cosine x times sine x times the derivative of the first function, or the derivative of x. So now we'll find this derivative, which will require their product rule, and we'll find this derivative. So f prime of x equals x times this derivative. So we'll go ahead and let the first function cosine x be f, and the second function sine x be g when applying the product rule. So we'll have the first function cosine x times the derivative of the second function, which is sine x, plus the second function sine x times the derivative of the first function, or the derivative of cosine x. And then we still have plus cosine x times sine x times the derivative of x, which is equal to one, so we just have cosine x sine x. So now we'll find this derivative and this derivative and then simplify. So f prime of x equals x times, notice the derivative of sine x is cosine x, so here we'd have cosine x times cosine x, or cosine squared x. And then we have plus sine times the derivative of cosine x, which is negative sine x. So we'd have sine x times negative sine x, or negative sine squared x. And instead of writing plus and negative, we can just write minus sine squared x. And then we still have plus cosine x sine x. So we'll go ahead and leave the derivative in this form here. And now we'll find f prime of two and f prime of pi over two. To determine f prime of two, we'll have to use the calculator and get our decimal approximation. For f prime of pi over two, we can determine the value of cosine pi over two and sine pi over two to determine the exact value. So first for f prime of two, Let's go ahead and run this to four decimal places and use the calculator. First step is to make sure that we're in radian mode. So we'll press the mode key, make sure radian is highlighted, which it is. Go back to the home screen, and now we'll substitute two for x. So we'll enter two times, now for cosine squared two, we'll have to enter cosine two squared. So we'll have an open parenthesis, cosine two, close parenthesis squared, and then minus sine two squared, so open parenthesis, sine two, two close parentheses squared, close parenthesis, and then plus cosine two times sine two. And enter. Ranked to four decimal places, we would have approximately negative 1.6857. The eight here tells us to round up. We change a six to a seven. 
And now for f prime of pi over two, we can determine the exact value. We'll substitute pi over two for x. So we have pi over two times the quantity cosine squared pi over two minus sine squared pi over two and then plus cosine pi over two times sine pi over two. And we should recognize these trig function values, but for a quick review, let's take a look at the unit circle. Remember on the unit circle, x equals cosine theta and y equals sine theta. So if we sketch pi over two radians in standard position, here's the initial side, here's the terminal side. Notice the x coordinate is zero and the y coordinate is one, which means cosine pi over two is equal to zero, sine pi over two is equal to one which means f prime of pi over two is equal to pi over two times, well if cosine pi over two is zero, this would be zero squared, and then we have minus one squared, plus again cosine pi over two is zero, zero times one, that'd be zero. So this leaves us with pi over two times, this would just be negative one, and therefore, f prime of pi over two equals negative pi over two. So here we have a decimal approximation for f prime of two, and here we have the exact value of f prime of pi over two. I hope you found this helpful.